I'm Elise, and for my dissertation, I'm studying why these adorable little guys are not dying of cyanide poisoning. Eating is dangerous. If you live in a forest with green leaves and green plants, everything looks like food. But the plants have a secret. Some of them have developed toxins, deadly toxins, to protect themselves from marauding herbivores. Some herbivores protect themselves from these toxins by just not eating the dangerous plants. And they do that the same way you or I would avoid dangerous foods, by taste and by smell. You might pull that questionable jug of milk out of the refrigerator and you sniff it, and if it smells bad, you pour it down the sink. But there are some herbivores that instead of avoiding these toxins, embrace them. They've developed ways to survive these toxins and to thrive on them, which gives them access to a whole new world of food in the forest that no other animals have. And some of these animals are the bamboo lemurs of Madagascar. And they eat bamboo that is so full of cyanide, it should be killing them 50 times over every single day. That's more cyanide than would kill me. It's more cyanide than would kill you. And these guys are the size of your house cat. Cyanide's not a subtle toxin. It, it kills you, and it kills you quickly if you have too much in your system. It makes it so you can't use oxygen, you can't create energy, and you die. So we've known for 30 years that these guys are able to survive this much cyanide, and only now am I able to find out how they're doing it. So to do that, I need to look at their physiology. There's a complicating factor. They are critically endangered, not because they're eating cyanide, but because of habitat destruction. But what that means is I can't go out and grab one and treat it like a lab rat. I have to get creative. So what I've done is to look at what's going on inside their bodies. I look at what's coming out of them. I look at their pee. So I take your standard grocery store variety funnel. I go hang out with my little lemur buddies in the forest in Madagascar and I, uh, I wait for them to pee. <laughs> and once they do that, I bring this pee back and I look at what's in it. And what I found is extraordinary. They have two things in their pee. One is still lethal amounts, what should still be lethal amounts of toxic cyanide. And another is thiocyanate, a modified version of cyanide that is no longer toxic. What this means is they're doing two separate things. And as an evolutionary biologist, I can geek out about why this is fascinating and important all day. What it means is that it tells us about how evolution is working in a species that's exposed to toxic things in its environment. And this kind of question is becoming increasingly important as we are introducing more and more toxins into our environment and theirs. Thank you. My favorite title, Peeing Poison, by M. Elsie Lauderborough. <laughs>